Chairman Lathrop and committee members, my name is Dr. Kathy Altman, K-A-T-H-I-A-U-L-T-M-A-N. I'm a retired board certified OBGYN and a fellow of the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists with over 35 years of experience. I was the co-founder and co-director of the First Rate Treatment Center in Jacksonville, Florida, and served as the medical director for Planned Parenthood of Northeast Florida. I performed first trimester suction DNC abortions and second trimester dismemberment abortions. I have also personally had an abortion. A dismemberment abortion, or d &E, is generally done between 13 to 24 weeks gestation when it becomes difficult to remove the baby's body with a suction curette alone. During a d and &E, I would drain the amniotic, amniotic fluid using a suction curette, bringing the baby into the lower portion of the uterus. I used a clamp to grasp whatever I could, usually an arm or a leg, and by pulling down and twisting, I would tear it from the body and place it on a tray. Once I couldn't get anything else, I would open my clamp wider and grasp and crush the chest and then the head. I, would, I could tell when I had done this because the white substance, the brains, would leak out. Once her bleeding was under control and I had accounted for all the body parts, I would remove the instruments. We already have a large body of evidence to support the fact that the fetus feels pain at 20 weeks gestation. However, the authors of a recent comprehensive review of the literature in 2020 concluded that the fetus may experience pain as early as 12 weeks gestation. This has moral implications for abortion procedures. Providing fetal analgesia is now the standard of care for fetal surgery. I support this bill because it prevents the infliction of needless pain and suffering on innocent human beings and preserves the integrity of the medical profession. A major benefit is that it will spare mothers the agony and guilt of knowing that their child was torn limb from limb while it was alive. The technology to cause fetal death prior to second trimester abortion is already standard practice in many abortion clinics for this very reason. When I was doing dismemberment abortions, I was totally focused on making this procedure as painless as possible for my patient but I never considered the pain that the baby might be experiencing. I hope that you will have more compassion on these innocent human beings than I did and pass this bill. We regulate the way in which animals are killed to prevent this kind of cruelty. Certainly we owe as much to our own offspring.